How's it going guys, James96 here back with another map playthrough and today guys we are playing Ice Skater, another map by the man, the legend, Neat T-Bird himself and it is part of the map advent calendar series as always and this one genuinely, I've said this quite a lot during the series but I'm really excited to play this one, it's basically a very skill based game which is quite fun because you know a couple of them have you know just been about grinding out but this one seems to be a lot more skill based uh, where you've got to dodge uh, weak spots in the ice and try and get as high a score as possible so I'm looking forward to a nice high score style game so basically how this one works is this game is inspired by Rainbow Runner skate along the ice dodgy weak spots you gain points for the longer you skate the game is also harder the longer you skate the harder the difficulty the more points you get try to get the highest points possible A, I pretty much read all of them without having to re-look at it important settings make sure you give credit as always guys if you want to check out this map then the download link will be in the description down below as well as a link to Nate T-Bird's channel you can't say enough make sure you check that out and of course by Nate T-Bird anyway that is pretty much all there is to it we're going to start on easy just to get an idea of the game and we're going to start so I don't know how this works I don't, are we I presume that we can just run around a bit and have to try and dodge these weak spots. <laughs> I think the darker ice is the weak spots, obviously, or the ice rather than the packed ice is the weak spots. And uh, we just got to stay on this as long as we can. Now, obviously, we've gone for easy difficulty uh, just for this first run, so we have a rough idea of what's going on. But I'm not planning on staying on easy. I just wanted to get a feel for the game. But I'm guessing the high score is going to be pretty large, considering that we've probably got the lowest, you know, points multiplier at the moment. I'm already on 230 odd. So hopefully I don't waste all my talent on this run. But, okay, yeah, this is going to get quite difficult. As you can see, it speeds up very quickly. So I can't wait to see what this is going to be like on like insane difficulty. Which, of course, we'll give it a go, even if we get like a score of 2. It will still be quite funny. Yeah, this is getting very quick now. And this is on easy. So we'll see what score we can get. Oh, there you go. We lost. Got a score of 493, not bad for a first run. Let's ramp it up to medium difficulty. We'll just kind of go through them all. And then we'll try and set some killer scores at the end here, I guess. But yeah, the score's going up a lot quicker by the looks of it. On medium difficulty. So I imagine... Oh, get out of the way. This is a lot easier to control as well than a couple of the games that use the same kind of mechanics, I'd guess, earlier on. Because you're moving yourself rather than moving like a snow golem. Which is probably going to allow a greater... Oh, damn it. 406. Okay. We'll move up to hard, though. I want to keep going. I want to try and get the best score I can. But yeah, you do seem to get a better level of control in this. You can get screwed over, by, though, by those big lines of ice. Let's go this way. Oh, see. Yeah. But almost beat our last score. Should we go insane? Let's go insane. I reckon at least the score of a thousand is what we should be aiming for on this. I don't really know what an ideal score is. Let me know in the comments below if you do decide to check this out. And if you do, what score you get. I'd be interested to know. Oh, damn. Alright, let's try that again. Maybe insane won't be best for us to get our highest score. We'll have to see. But <laughs> that was just poor. <laughs> but I think it's probably our best chance of getting the kind of score we want. Here we go. Oh, see, there's no chance after that point. I might go... I'm going to go back down to medium and try and get a better score in medium. Because we should be increasing our score every time, theoretically, if we get good enough. I think medium, I got a bit distracted. I can see me getting a good score in medium, though. I think insane is going to be a bit more luck-based, uh, just based on my ability. And also, it's just insanely quick. And when you move on ice, you're slightly sluggish, I feel. I don't know if that's just me. Oh, damn it. Still haven't beaten our high score. We set our high score on easy at the moment, and we can't seem to beat it. Which may say a lot about how we're going to have to approach this. But, you know, so far, maybe, you know, 490 is not actually a bad score. I don't really know. I don't know what the best scores are on this. It's only just come out as I recorded it. I follow... Nate on Twitter, which I highly recommend, especially during this map challenge, or this map advent calendar, and I saw him tweet out this latest map, and I had a bit of time, so I thought I'd record it, but yeah, so far, only 493, not terrible, 
Not great. I want to get over 500 as a minimum, but I want to get a thousand. If I get a thousand, I'll be happy. Whether I can get a thousand, I don't know. Just try and keep moving. Stay on my toes. Oh. Oh, oh damn it. Still not higher. Really? Let's go hard. See if the extra difficulty isn't outweighed by the extra points we can get. If not, we might have to try and get the score on easy. <laughs> that might be our calling. Oh, see, we didn't get very good there. Hmm. Interesting. So, at the moment, obviously easy is the easiest one, but it seems to be the way I can get the highest score as well, which wasn't what I was expecting. I thought medium would be tough, but still... Oh, damn it. 400 set. We're getting so close to getting a high score. It's just that little bit extra speed. I mean, I don't know when the speed boosts happen, but you can kind of feel it happening. So it's got faster now. Okay. Ah, oh, damn it. 533. We beat 500. Okay. This may be the way forward. I think I could have got a higher score there as well. You just got to look right ahead at what's coming up. And kind of just feel your way. You can't really be looking at what's happening around you. You've got to just look ahead. Oh. Okay, this is getting quick. It's going very quick. Oh, 480. Okay. Hard may be the way forward then. I know this is quite repetitive, but I'm start starting to get into a rhythm here of what's going on. And the speed is getting pretty, pretty tense. I don't want to be on the edge because it could, yeah, throw me. I want to try, I think trying to stay as near to the middle as you can is probably a decent tactic. Because especially the points where you have only you can only go for one. Or like there's only a one wide area. You need to stay near the middle like that. Oh, damn it. Okay. Let's go for insane again for a little bit. Give that a go. See if we can get anywhere near a good score. I feel like insane is just going to be rather insane to be honest. Oh, I can't move quick enough. <laughs> but I'll score. see, we got like 345 just from that. So if we get a bit of a lucky run, then you never know. Oh, 450, see? I, I feel like I can do it. I feel like on any difficulty, if I get a good run, then I could get a really good score. It's just about... Oh, see, when I get something like that, I don't stand a chance. Those sort of lines, I'm not even going to try and counter those especially when it throws you all the way to one edge huh, huh. I can't move I don't feel I don't feel like I can move quick enough we'll give it a couple more goes on insane see how it goes oh, oh see that was me knowing that I had to get over there still couldn't do it okay oh no I went the wrong way there See, we seem to average like the 340, 350 mark on this difficulty. Which isn't what we want. Yep. Ah, oh, but see, that was 450 and that was only like a little bit longer. I really don't know what the best tactic is. It'd be interesting to see what scores other people get. Because I do not know what a good score is on this. 565, we just set a high score. Okay. Hello, this could be the way forward then. Looks like we're getting used to it a bit more. Oh, oh we could have got a better score there. Come on, James. Stay focused. Oh, nip through that gap. Oh, nah, not looking far enough ahead. I was getting caught in the moment. When you start having to hesitate about making sure you're lined up, that's when it all goes wrong. Oh, I should have just thrown myself across. You gotta be brave in this one. Be ballsy. Huh. Nah. Not gonna happen when you hit a solid line like that. If you're in the middle of a big old line like that, you might as well just give up. Okay. So far so good. Oh. Seven twenty. Look at that, we are getting close to that thousand mark. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get to a thousand. But we're doing okay so far. I may try easy again in a sec. Just see 
how we do with that. But that's going to be a very quick run on easy because you're going to have to get loads more points. So I think insane could be the way forward. Oh, not on that run. But then at 505 again, so we're definitely getting better. Our average is going up in this. And when we don't get unlucky with the blocks, we do pretty good. Whoa, that is so quick. <laughs> that is so quick. You get no time to react at that point. What? Oh, I was too quick. That was a low score, 245. That was not good. We'll go for a bit longer here. But I reckon it's coming, it's coming. I can feel it. Ah, oh, 630. Not bad, not bad. We just need a bit of luck when we get to around 700. Okay, so at that point it's just literally, like, oh, too quick. At least it's nice and quick to get games going. I like that. I don't like, you know, having to build up to a game starting. Okay, good. Oh, no. 475, not bad, not bad. Okay, we've got a couple more minutes here to try and get our highest score possible. Oh, oh no way. <laughs> so difficult. Okay. Oh, oh. Uh, <laughs> I'm hitting my limit. I'm definitely hitting my limit. I'm going to try a different difficulty in a sec. Maybe go back down to hard. Maybe hard will seem easier after. Yeah, let's try hard difficulty. After doing insane for a bit, maybe hard will be quite easy. Definitely seems slower at the start. <laughs> so you never know. But we're going to have to go a lot longer. To get the same kind of score. Whoa. Oh. Hup. Oh. Damn. Yeah, I'm not sure, guys. I'm not sure what the best tactic is on this. No, I don't feel like I've quite worked it out. 720 is a good score, though. I can't really complain with that. So, we'll have to see how people compare. Bear in mind that, you know, I've only played for, you know, played this game for 12 minutes, I'm sure. If you dedicated a bit more time to it, you could probably get a really good score on this as you kind of get used to all of the tricks of the trade. There's probably a good couple of tactics in this, which I haven't discovered. Like probably if you try and stay on the edge of blocks. Let's just go for easy for a second and see if anything becomes miraculously easier. But look how slow our score is ticking up. We'd be on like 400 by now. Not 400, but... We'd be on a solid score by now on insane difficulty. But then I'm not really feeling any difficulty either, so we'll have to see how this plays out in the long run. Easy may be the way forward. We will see. I'd feel kind of bad if I set my best score on easy, though. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe I should just take whatever score I can get. I suppose you do have to go for a lot longer, so that's a kind of challenge in itself. And you can get lucky on insane, whereas you've got to have a bit more skill in easy to last all the time. So yeah, I guess we're only about halfway there though, and this is getting quite quick already. But then, oh, come on. <laughs> Let's try that one more time. We got hit by a line there, which kind of ended our run. So we'll give that one more go, then we'll try an insane one more time. And I think that's going to be it. So only a couple more runs left to go. Come on, James. Pull something out of the bag. Get 800 score. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? I still love a 1,000, but I don't think I'm going to be able to get a 1,000 in this time frame. Okay. So far, so good. I know on about 200, though. Not even halfway. I wonder if this has a max speed, though. Does seem pretty quick now. Oh. Yeah, it's getting very quick. Very quick indeed. Oh, the lines are coming out. That's what I'm worried about. One of those in the wrong plate. There you go. Ruin the run. Okay, let's go for insane. 
breathe. Wow. <laughs> that doesn't work. Okay, let's do this. And... Escape. Oh, oh. Oh. Too quick. 750. High score. Boom. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed that episode, please do leave a like. And if you haven't already, then please subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Please don't forget, if you enjoyed the video, to give it a like. It means a lot. If you want to see more, click on the left for the rest of the series. And on the right for the latest video. And if you want to stay up to date with the channel, click on the chicken. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you soon. Bye. Okay, so I'm a bit crazy, and I want to try and beat 750. So, yeah. Welcome back. <laughs> well, unless I didn't do it, and then you won't see this. 900! Whoa! 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 See you next time, guys. Bye-bye.